Are you dating anyone? Well, I think I just started dating someone. You think? I think, <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm Michaela. I'm Devin. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Can you guess why we are here today? You have Down syndrome. How do you know? Well, I can just tell by looking at you. That's kind of cool. Do you know the science we have behind Down syndrome? I know a little bit. I know that comes when you get an extra chromosome. Yeah, that's basically all I know. So basically, Down syndrome is like packages of chromosomes. Do you know what chromosomes are? They're like the X and the Y from like different parents that come become your genes. That is correct. A typical person has 46 chromosomes. Yeah. And people with Down syndrome have 47. Oh. I have three pairs of the chromosome 21. What's special about that one? Um, they don't know why, because we are still doing research on it. Interesting. So what are some of the challenges that you face, like, to day to day? Um, sometimes math. Yeah, I struggle with that, too. <laughs> Is this your first media interview? No, it's not. I am on ESPN and King 5 and Como. For doing what? Special Olympics. Oh, what sport? Stand up paddleboarding, actually. Really? Yes. Wow. I would not be good at that, I don't think. <laughs> Have you gotten any other cool opportunities? I went to the White House. Really? Which president? Obama. Oh, yeah. Which is, which, which is really good. So what did you like get invited for? What did you talk about? I was there because I was being the odds and, and going to college. Oh, what was your major? I studied advocacy and marine biology. Ooh, what would you do as a marine biologist? I would go out and dive in the sound, since I am a scuba diver, because I got certified. Do you like seafood? I love seafood. <laughs> Is that sometimes weird, like you're studying these animals and trying to protect them, and then you love seafood, like to eat? Is that weird? Not really, no. Are you dating anyone? Well, I think I just started dating someone. You think? I think, <laughs> yeah. Do you ever want to get married? I do, yes. Would you have kids? No. Is it a higher risk that their kids will have Down syndrome, or is it not at all related? Yes. Is that partly why you'd never want to have kids? <laughs> no. I just think they're a lot of hard work. <laughs> What do you do as a job? I am a lab aide, actually. It's a biotech company that's doing a stem cell science. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I'm really interested in like that like science-y medicine stuff. And do you ever worry that the, the only reason the company hired you is to kind of like look good to the outside world? You know, that they're being diverse and inclusive and not because of your skills? Yes, because they underestimate people's with disabilities to get a job. And I, I do have skills that I do like. Like, I am very organized and I am smart and I went to college. There's a topic that often gets covered when talking about Down syndrome and that is about like some lingo and some outdated words. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about the R word? It makes me feel upset and uncomfortable when it's said to me personally. I normally um, cry when I get home, when someone calls me that. And someone has called me that, but I went home and I cried. And then I think my dad actually tried to look for him. <laughs> Did he find him? No. Oh, no. What would he have done if he found him? He would, like, um, beat him up. <laughs> Do you ever wish you didn't have Down syndrome, or are you happy? I'm happy just the way, just the way I am. Bye. It was really yeah, nice to yeah, meet you. Yeah, definitely.